Welcome back, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. So, for some cleaning motivation. For those of you needing it, or just some of you hanging out with me on this day as I undecorate and reset, we are hitting my kitchen this time, which means this is the second episode of my After Christmas series, and I'm getting all of the Christmas decor down, stored away, along with my cute little black and white Christmas tree. I am going to be leaving a few things out because it's winter decor, just like I did in the first video, but I'm getting my kitchen put back together and reset for the rest of the winter season and the new year. And, y'all, I have a ton of dishes. I mean a ton. Just a lot. <laughs> but I do speed it up faster than normal through most so as not to bore y'all. But my thinking is, is that I'm not the only one with an insane amount of dishes to wash, especially it just being after the holidays. And so somebody just may need to see it to get motivated to tackle their own. Even if it's only one person, then it is totally worth it. So let's get to it. Oh, and before I forget, I have my grandbaby for a while today while I'm doing these voiceovers. So you may hear him. And at the moment, Dominic is napping. So you probably won't hear him. Catch you on the flip side. Maybe we can be friends when you're not so fragile. When you know yourself well. So it was right around Dominic's nap time right here and he had just come in and told me that he was sleepy right here and so essentially he wanted me to take him in the living room, lay him on the couch, cover him up so he could take a nap. So that's what that was but just as soon as I got him laid down, got his blanket for him and got him all tucked in, he was satisfied and I was able to get right back to cleaning as you guys can see. So when I said that I had a lot of dishes, I meant that I really had a lot of dishes. I think that when it was all said and done, I washed four full sink full of dishes. I mean, it was it was crazy. Um, and right here, I'm just going through the dishes that I really can't work around um, to be able to run some water to wash dishes without having to constantly run water, if that makes sense. So, once I get these dishes out of this side of the sink, I do go ahead and run water in that side of the sink 
and that way I don't have to have the water constantly running as I wash them because there's way too many dishes for that and my hot water heater is just not big enough for that I would run out of hot water pretty quick also Dominic just woke up from his nap so you may hear him here in just a few minutes yep there they both go so I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and watch as I get these dishes ran through and I'm gonna go check on the babies really quick before the next voiceover Glimpse of a light, it's blurring out my eyes. Oh, oh, we should open up a window. Oh, oh, I can't see clear. Oh, oh, I know how to window, to window. Cause it's just my habit. I can't describe it. If she can talk about it like it's magic. So, as you guys can see, I've had to pull out another drying mat. I could not believe. I hardly ever have to use three drying mats, but I did have to pull my third one out. This one rarely ever gets used. 
Giving no compliments I'm yours if you need a friend Yeah, yeah A fake one Staying up till the end Yeah, I know how to play pretend Ah, uh, ah, uh, tell me how do I get inside Ah, uh, ah, uh, open up your mind Ah, uh, ah, uh, in this I know how to win a fight To win a fight Cause it's just my head so, yes, I'm letting the water out, and yes, I do have more dishes to wash, and I'm letting the water out, but I am going to be running another sink full of water for the last of my dishes, but that water was just, it was so nasty that I didn't want to wash any other dishes in that, so I opted to go ahead and let that water out, go ahead and get my iron skillet cleaned, as you guys can see. That way, it can go ahead and be greased up and put back into storage where it sits. And then I can refill my sink and get the rest of my dishes washed. I don't have as many as I started out with, thankfully, but I do still have quite a few, so. I can't describe it. Okay, so the dishes are done 
finally, finally. But as you guys can see, my breakfast island that usually sits right up here beside the uh, sink area, right behind where I'm standing actually, is not right behind me right now. It will be. We're going to put it back. But for our Christmas dinner, we done it buffet style because there was so much food and there was so many people at the dinner. So I used my breakfast Hi, island and pulled it Hi. over beside of the backpack cubby Hi. and we kind of used the tops of all of that. So we're going to mop this area right here behind me where the breakfast island goes and then once we get that finished we will pull the breakfast island back to where it needs to go. And then we're just going to clean off the surfaces. But we're gonna get the decorations took down as well. How much money that you make? <laughs> yeah, I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't wanna be like you. Keep your stupid job, pretend that you're the person you wanted to be. <laughs> and you're dying not to work, but work until you die. And you're dying not to work, but work until you die. You're dying not to work, but work until you die. You're die, 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 die inside. Say no. So as I was cleaning the coffee bar, I got to thinking I wanted it to be more minimal. So I didn't put all the decor back on it that I had on it before the holidays. So as I was taking all of the Christmas decor off to put away, I decided that I wanted to just do a less is more kind of decor on the coffee bar. I may end up changing my mind and putting decor back on it or putting some different decor back on here. But I, for now, as for now, I'm happy with the minimal of it. I don't want so much on here. It feels a lot cleaner and a lot less chaotic to me. So...
talking to is somebody out there should I worry about who is in my head yeah. I felt your heavy breath through darkness the smoke is getting close to my bed I cannot make a sound empty lungs sleeping but awake paralyzed so come I just have to say, it seems like every surface that could be disgustingly dirty was. It has to be because it was the holidays and um, I always host Christmas dinner and it seems like I do this every year and think to myself, how can everything just get so dirty so quick like this? And then I remembered from the previous year how dirty everything got after the dinner and after Christmas and everything. And, you know, it doesn't bother me because I so enjoy hosting Christmas and the Christmas dinner and having my family here at home and having everyone around. And it just, it makes the holiday that much more worth it. I just, it's amazing sometimes how dirty everything gets when you wouldn't expect it to get like that because it's you know adults for the most part and then some children you wouldn't think it would be that messy but then I go back and I think well it's my family so you know that right there in itself says a lot because just if you're new here I have five sons and I have one grandson and my sons are almost 21, 19, 10, almost 6, and almost 3. And then my grandson is 7 months old. And so, yeah, it's not a surprise. Also, right here, I'm showing you guys my Word and Oak uh, felt letter board. I've had this for a couple of years. I did buy it off of Amazon. I love this letter board. It's just a way to be able to say something witty or funny or smart or to boast about the holidays. And it comes with so many letters and different punctuation marks and just different characters, numbers. So I did have to change up my letter board. I just wanted to show you guys but it was made by Word and Oak. This video was not sponsored or anything like that by them. This is just that really a great letter board. I've had it for three years now, I think, and it still looks brand new. So anyway, I'm going ahead and I'm getting everything off of the tier trays. And I'm not going to go ahead and re redecorate them right now. Uh, we'll do that in a later video. I just really want to get all of the Christmas pulled off of them and leave the stuff on that can be used for winter decor and get everything else kind of packed away tucked away and stored so that's what i'm doing there doesn't really take as long as i thought it would but it does take a lot longer to decorate i think than it does to undecorate in my opinion <laughs> but anyway let's get back to it we're about to take the christmas tree down and i really loved my christmas tree in the kitchen this year it was black and white but it was simple and it was very pretty i think and it was a dollar store tree i did get it from the dollar general and for it to have come from the dollar general i think it turned out looking really pretty been underwater for too long but there's no need to be worried i felt your heavy breath through darkness the smoke is getting close to my bed I cannot make a sound Empty lungs Sleeping but awake Paralyzed So come
I'ma let you out, I'ma let you in You're my enemy If you would let me go, I would let you in So I swear every year whenever I put this Christmas tree back in its box, I always forget that the top of it has to go in upside down first. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second when I put it in the box. Um, I always try to put it in backwards though. You would think after doing it at least as many times as I have. Um, two or three times I think with this tree that I would remember that but I just don't maybe one of these days I will but it wasn't this year I didn't but I was um, kind of you know eh, about taking the trees down I hated seeing them go down because they were so pretty and because I really did get in the holiday spirit this year but on the other hand I was happy when they came down um, with the ones that I've gotten so far down because I knew that that was just one more thing checked off of my list that needed to be done. So, yeah. It's no secret All my friends already know There's no reason To hold it back, I let it show All my feelings so I just wanted to point it out in case you guys hadn't noticed it did get dark. I did have to take a pause and cook dinner and then get those dinner dishes cleaned up. I didn't want to bring you guys along for all of that because that was just more dishes. So I did take a pause and then get right back to it. So you guys will notice that it did get dark on me outside. But, you know, no big deal. I did clean up uh, well into the night. Well into the night before I was uh, finished. I think it was near midnight by the time I did get finished. But that's how it goes sometimes. Also, we're coming to the end of the video, and I did want to just say that I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are enjoying my After Christmas series, and I really hope that if you are new to my channel that you enjoy the videos, and you decide to stick around, and you subscribe, and hit like if you are so inclined, and I really hope that those of you that needed it got motivated, and yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me on this day all day and so yeah i think that's got it till next time love y'all stay safe Yeah.